Right, so let's start getting our troops in here. We'll get the closer air support in there. Get the fighters in there as well. Where are the fighters? There you are. It's a shame that I can't build things into their territory, but oh well. Um, here this core took quite a bit of beating in that, so we'll have Cat's core be the first one to cross the border. Romania, the unknown nuclear power. <laughs> It's a puppet ball bearing count, some uh, strategic effects, but that is really nice. Yeah, I think it, it might be part of something. I don't remember exactly. After industry? Yeah, that's one of the things. Like, if they have puppet, then that will count for it. And then also, we need to have um, a lot of tank factories and automotive factories, which we are slowly getting. Actually, not that much, I suppose. So that may be a problem. But yeah, once we get uh, Sweden and Norway published it, then we'll have uh, Puppet Master. And that's going to give us a bit more manpower, money and resources. Nothing massive to be fair, but it's another step forward. Uh, if we producers, so for that we need to have more factories. We already have... Um... Oh, hold on a minute. We've got the refinery, we've got the aluminum. We need to have... Um... The light aircraft factories, and then we need to have either medium or heavy aircraft factories. 15 or 10, respectively. Alright then. What about the armor producer? For that, we need to have the refinery. And we need to have factory. We need to have tungsten as well, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we can eventually get. But I actually wonder, how much is uh, Finland sending us in terms of... Uh, Resource. I suppose that's that set in convoys. Being a convoys, we got quite a few, don't we? Oh, yeah. Finland is actually sending a lot of uh, stuff in right now. Armor unit training and armor unit command and control. Excellent. Uh, how far are we on that list now? Oh, well, that was the first levels. Okay, let's put those back to the top then. Right, also, uh, so if PAS Core is going to be left behind for a little bit, have you group up there, then Ansang's Core is going to go off to the north. And then I think Alberto, well, actually, Mastani's Core is going to be in Oulu, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have, like, um, Alberto's Core is going to drive along the coast, and once we take uh, Lulu, we're going to transport troops over there, and that's going to allow us to move forward as well. Of course, we are probably going to have some problems with supplies again. Just as a fair warning. Alberto's rapid troops. Get in there. It's cold up there. <laughs> yes, but once you get down south in Sweden, it's not going to be quite as cold. Right, you can probably get down to Danzig again. Have we got any more ships? No, I don't think we have, but we are going to get some destroyers in June. We're going to get some submarines in May. That should be alright. Oh, and pack artillery has been unlocked, and small caliber tank cannon and machine guns advance. We're going to get self propel uh, um, anti air as well. Let's have a look at that. So we can cancel that one. We're getting the high density allies. That should be done actually rather soon. Yeah, well, 1st of April, so tomorrow. Then we're going to start getting the armor-piercing capped. Uh, but right over here, we could get the armor card design. That is 1940 tech, though. And then there was the, in artillery, there's the self propeller anti-artillery, or anti-air. Uh, that's 1942, so that's not quite something that we need to worry about right now. Right, so actually, what I think I should do is... Um, I'm going to start giving the objectives for my allies in here. I'm going to actually just remove that from the list, but I can put in like uh, Estonia, you need to uh, project those two. Uh, I think for if we give objective for Latvia to protect that one, they should be mostly focusing on the border there anyway. Maybe a little bit on the... Well, you know what? I'll protect the capitals, so to speak. We don't necessarily need you to be focusing on that one. And Lithuania, what do you need to do? Um, 
We've got basically no troops, to be fair. Maybe protect Mel. In Finland, I want you... I'm going to put that as your target. So you can help me in the war against Sweden. I knew you'd want it. Oh, there we go. We've got the high density alloys. We've got the auto saver. And uh, was there anything else in here? Oh, right. It should pop his industrial focus. I'm going to go with. We well, crashed last time doing this. I'm going to go for army focus, actually. Just get more troops. Should be alright. So Finland is going to be focusing mostly on the Soviet border right now, which is probably fine. I mean, once we've taken Sweden, then Finland is not going to have a lot of things to do, at least not on their own border. So it's probably a good idea for them to start just focusing on the Soviet side of things. So we're still at 89%. Oh! Armand Kalinescu appointed Prime Minister on March 6, 1939. Patrick... Uh, Miron Kriesta, the Prime Minister in office, passed away, and Armand Kalinesu was appointed the new Chairman of the Council of Ministers. As an economics and politician, uh, Kalinesu was initially one of the central wing leaders of the National Peasant Party before coming in in December 1938, a founding member of the Royal Party, the FRN, FRN in Finland to fight to Sweden the war. <laughs> I'll see myself. <laughs> All right. Um, after holding position as Minister of Health, Education and Homeland Defence, he also requested a King Carol II to form a government on March 7, 1939. Kalinescu continued the traditional Romanian policy of close relations with France and the United Kingdom and was to be the one to allow Polish government, army and refugees to seek shelter in Romanian soil, much against Germany's protests. We get a bit of dissent from that, unfortunately. And Autarchy, yes please. Let's have a look at the politics right now. So we got... Hold on. Um, oh, Carol is the leader again. Alright then. Uh, can we switch that? I think we can. I mean, the extra crude oil and money... That uh, might not be a bad one, necessarily. Although, there's probably... Now we're going to go back with the silent workforce. I'm going to ignore those... Oh. Prince of Terror. Oh. Hold on a minute. Is there anything else that was changed? I think there was something, but... I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that lowers the IC and... Does it give... All uh, conservatives during peace time? Right. So maybe we do want to go back to the crime fighter. Uh, we, oh, wow. Um... Oh, the Prince of Terror there, yeah, I just need to wait a day for that to wear off. That's going to be alright. So the home front thing has not worn off yet. But how bad is the situation in China? I mean, <laughs> well, the Japanese have taken basically all of it. There's a lot of it that they still need to conquer. But yeah, China's not doing great. Oh, export chromite. Canada, um... I mean, we've got four surplus right now, I think, so we can afford trading a bit. And actually, let's have a look at the... No, oh, choose puppets, uh... Focus. I don't think... We need to do that right now, I suppose. Oh, there we go. End wartime measures. Work network, mobile unit training. Yunnan has been annexed. So we don't need quite as much consumer goods right now. And that be there. I mean, that's actually probably a bit too little. But well, um, it's probably going to take a while before our troops are ready to fight against Sweden. So what we'll probably do is we'll start the war on 1st of May. Or around there. So we'll have enough time to get the troops in position. Actually, one thing that I should do is... Instead of going the, or having the troops be right on the border, have them be just off the border. So once we declare war, we'll just move in and conquer those. So they won't have the troops in there to start with. That is what we're going to do. 
Okay, the troops there, and then Anzang's core gonna be on the northern one area here. I do admit the uh, unit colors for Romania and Finland are quite similar. I'm like, hold on, why why are these troops moving to the oh right? It's the Finnish troops, not mine. Gonna be getting some more industry soon. Also a bit more cavalry. I suppose what I could do is I could already transport these three cavalry units over. Should be alright though. We'll give them some orders later on. Right, so that's still waiting for a little bit. I believe Finns... Uh, yeah, the Air Force survived as a whole. Although, how much do they have manpower, I wonder? Uh, we don't know. Oh, right, we're not sp sending any spies out there, are we? I swear we were, but not anymore. But yeah, we'll get the information soon enough so we can know kind of how much manpower they have. Like, will they be able to repair their troops or not? I'm not entirely sure that they will, but we'll see. And uh, there's more treasure for China. More warship damage control. Actually, have a look at the escort stuff here. So there's the anti-aircraft guns, and then there's once we get these. Just, the first one is going to be in 9th of May, so in about a month. The torpedo boats are going to take a little bit longer. But yeah, we'll just have our troops wait in here as soon as they are ready to move in. Got our planes over here as well. We seem to have some supplies at least. I suppose the Finnish uh, economy is a bit stronger than the Baltic states. So that does help a little bit. I might actually move in. Oh, heavy artillery brigades advance. Excellent. And then we got the remaining two cavalry divisions that we had underway. So now we are going to be getting the motorized divisions. So eventually we're going to have our. Fully motorized army. Well, not fully motorized, but uh, one motorized army at some point. But it's just an attempt to get the armor practical up a little bit, as well as the mobile unit practical up. It's not going to be much, but it should uh, help at least. Right, so where is the... We have troops all the way in here, but we're going to start from here, basically, and start going towards Kiruna and all that. Well, more motorized than historical Germany. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I mean, at least we'll have some motorized divisions. Although so did Germany, but you know. Because I could actually move uh, Pieter's core up north as well. Probably wouldn't hurt. That is, of course, assuming... That oh, right, actually. Uh, Finland, I want you to protect the coastal cities here. Although your capital, is it in... It should be in Helsinki, but I'm not entirely sure if they switched that from Vaza or not. I actually don't know. Okay, it, yeah, it should be in Helsinki. Oh, it's under the police uh, icon there, okay. Alright. Uh, at least we know where it is. Division headquarters, advance, excellent. That's right, there's 1940. We're going to probably cancel that for now. We've got quite a few things to research. Right, actually, now we can see the Finland situation. They do still have quite a bit of um, manpower overall. They are actually making a semi motorized division. And in two days, we're going to get another airbase in Danzig. Not that we necessarily use Danzig all that much. Although, against the Swedes, that might not be a bad idea. Let's get you in there. Right, so actually, I wonder, um, how much is this German... We actually have more industry than Germans do. Of course, we have kind of um, denied them Austria and Czechoslovakia. So that does have a bit of an effect. But they are at war. So they do have the bonuses from that. Yeah, there's most of the Finnish fleet in there. Actually, that, I think that is all of the Finnish fleet in there. Probably give um, targets over here. Maybe we'll give uh, this one as a 
objectives of the Finns as well. They will be spreading their troops quite a bit then, but it should be alright. Bit more reinforcements. And five more days for another factory. And a bit of chromite being traded around. Infantry unit training, excellent. And naval tactics advance. Or naval aviation tactics. We can cancel that one for now. Germany's IC is mostly still run from three nations. The base starting they have is not that great. True. Yeah, I mean, Germany, like, it's still not particularly weak, I would say. I mean, it's uh, got a decent bit of resource and all that, but it's certainly not as strong as it could be. But eventually, I might be able to fight them, of course. A lot depends on, like, will UK join in the war against the Axis or not? And secondly, will Japan join into Axis or not? The highest threat is currently France, and the neutrality is 34. Oh, uh, we got some mines online. Aluminum and chromite. And then I suppose I could uh, build up more. Oh, right, the root network. I'll take that one. And then... Do, 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 do. Invest in these two. It is going to take a while before they are ready, but it should be alright. They got four cores already here in the north. Oh, right, did we? I can actually rebase this in here, so that's going to drop the army headquarters into Oulu already. Although Oulu might not be the place where I want their headquarters to be forever, but... The outro, they will have Pearl Harbor. But that is still quite a far away. My cruiser armor thickness, excellent, is that? Oh right, we've gotten some of the things already here. Um, we need to get armament and bulkheads. And then we'll be able to get the light cruiser upgrade. One thing you found out recently is that Japan's biggest victories came after Pearl Harbor. True, uh, historically speaking, yeah. Just one and a half years until Pearl Harbor. Um, it's actually more than one and a half years. I'm only at April. And it happens in December 41. Two and a half. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like historically speaking, yeah, Japan did have quite a bit of. Uh, good victories um, right after Pearl Harbor, but then once the war kind of was uh, stretching out further and further, they started causing problems. Right, so the headquarters are more or less ready. Most of the troops are ready. I mean, PAS Corps is not ready yet, and the transports are not ready. Rocket artillery has been unlocked. Excellent. And cruiser engine and boilers increased to level 2. That's also nice. Uh, right, so if we have a look at the rocket artillery, we could get the ammunition for them already. Even in the end, they were sinking US carriers. Yeah, they certainly did a lot of damage, but they just couldn't win against the uh, industrial might of the USA. Friends in uh, industrial production capability and trained manpower should trick it in. Yeah, true. That as well. Right, so the headquarters are ready. I think we are going to start the war against Sweden rather soon. Kingdom Mortal Support Advance. Excellent. Is that. That's in Grand Battle Plan. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, we can cancel that one. Um, hmm. Yeah, we've got those. Is there anything in the Blitzkrieg area? Oh, Divisional Command Structure. That seems like a good idea. And then, is there anything in here? Mechanized breakthrough. Morale and combat with for the motorized mechanized troops. That seems like a good idea. Also, the attack movement rate is not bad either. And I want to buy some more energy. Uh, 
they were at the height of their power up until the Kokoda campaign. Was that turning to defeat the rollback started in earnest? Yeah. Like Kokoda Trail and uh, Guadalcanal and all that started happening at the same time. And they just got stretched through thin, quite frankly. Now we're going to get another factory right. Um, so PS Core is in here. Got the planes in there. Did we get the... Oh right, yeah, we got Obamos here. Could move them down here, or I could move them into... Let's move them into Helsinki. They also got way overconfident early on. Yeah, that's quite common occurrence in uh, World War II. Our basic education advance. Get that one. I'm going to put in the advanced education already in there. Even though it is 1940 tick. I think so. We're going to start the war at 25th of April, I think. And lower the reinforcements for a little bit in here. Oh, and next month we're going to start getting our submarines. Excellent. Ooh, actually, we should get the interceptors from here into Danzig to provide some cover in there. Although the Swedish Air Force is actually it's just about as large as uh, the Finnish one. At least it was at the start of the save here. Or start of the stream. Uh, artillery support advance. Excellent. Is that? That is probably ahead of time. Oh yeah. Deep battle doctrine. And cancel that one. I thought shattering the US Navy would be enough. And even if they completely succeeded in that on Pearl Harbor, which they didn't, it wouldn't have mattered much. Maybe a year or two of grace period, but not much more. Yeah, like they certainly underestimated how large a power. I mean, not all of them underestimated, but it's just the high ups just decided to ignore it. Of how quickly USA would uh, recover from it. But yeah, they didn't want to conquer USA necessarily. They just wanted to get a peace deal quickly. Which they failed. Okay, oh, quite a click goes there. Right, so China is there's still Tibet and Ma. A lot of Germany's and Japan's early victories came from the illusion that they were invincible. Rakoda and Top Rock shattered this view and boosted the morale of our forces. Yeah, that is definitely true. Oh right, so Oh Iraq Is at war with Germany Oh, hold on a minute. Yes! The Allies have started fighting against the Germans and the Italians. Oh yeah, there's already fights at El Alamein. Okay, there's no landings in here yet. That is excellent. That is what we were wanting to see. Oh, but the Ethiopia situation, yeah, they take lost a little bit of land in here. Port Sudan has been conquered and all that. Japan wanted to force them out of Pacific Theater, yeah. Like, I don't think Japan really cared that much what was going to happen in, like, the Atlantic theater with USA. It is hazard because it's going to keep the, like, the Italians and Germans busy, and eventually it's hopefully going to weaken them enough that once uh, the Allies start doing landings in here, and, well, it might be difficult for them to win at first, but let's say that once they've taken North Africa and all that, and kind of Africa, they'll maybe get the kind of uh, fighting on Europe itself. Um, yeah, I suppose the Italians have pushed down a little bit in here. I think this war didn't start all that long ago. Can we see on the uh, message stuff in here? Don't really see it. There's a lot of people stopping their influence on us, but it may have happened uh, while we were still fighting against the uh, Finns. But anyway, let's go ahead and give this a quick save again. And then it's time to declare our war against uh, 
Yeah, Romania is slightly bigger in this. I mean, we've been conquering a lot. We've had like almost non-stop wars for the entirety of this uh, playthrough. 